Okay, this is my two experiences I had on February 25th and 26th. My out of body experience, virtual reality experience, non 3D on February 25th and 26th by one reptilian and one gray on two different mornings. A reptilian gave me the first scenario and the second one a gray, I believe. The reptilians have driven me off the cliff before under abductions and a gray has taken me to the NSA building before. So they like to do government stuff. And um, I did ask for that several months before he, a gray finally took me to the NSA building. You know, he created a scenario for me, and it was a blast. And I posted that on here. But yeah, and I actually did ask for that. And now I'm asking to go to government buildings in real time, out of body. Um, because I know they were taking me to real time places back around 2003, 4, 5, and 6. I kind of know the difference, but like when, they, when he took me to the NSA building... You know, that was just a created artificial, you know, dimension after he took me, after he used his little, almost like a magic wand, like a little fly swatter and touched my head and pew, pulled me out. Yeah, they're very skilled. They have a lot of abilities. But yeah, so I do believe a gray, I don't know what gray, um, sometimes they show themselves, sometimes they don't before they give you an experience and sometimes in the experience I've had a couple experiences where the reptilians have showed themselves I haven't talked about that experience yet okay this thing's pissing me off okay so um so anyway the second experience was uh, like a government scenario and, um, yeah, so the second experience was government-related, and the first experience was like a, well, it's like the, these aliens, I mean, even if it's, even if I just have a dream, my dreams are very clear, intricate, detailed, very clear, but I know the difference between a dream and a lucid dream. Lucid dreams feel like you're totally there except the atmosphere feels a little different than the virtual reality experiences. And sometimes it's a little bit of both. Sometimes they're out-of-body experiences as well as virtual reality experiences. And sometimes they're just 100% virtual reality experiences. And sometimes it's 100% uh, lucid dream with some virtual reality elements. But the lucid dreams are also, uh, they're using your astral body. I mean, they're using my astral body. Um, those are ass backwards astral abductions. So anyway, but, but yeah, it's almost like, I don't know if you've heard of the aliens um, being able to like make you straight or make you gay. Um, 
Yeah, it's really weird. Like, like they do both. Like, they'll have, you know, they'll put men in my scenarios. They'll put women in my scenarios. That, that, you know, they, they do both. But, so yeah, so maybe, maybe the, the, there's a reptilian that's trying to um, make me date a white man now. Because uh, over a year ago, a reptilian tried to groom me to date a, a black person, either male or female. I haven't talked about that experience yet. So now it's kind of like maybe this reptilian is trying to um, to get me to to date a white man because but but I don't I don't really think so because like when when they tried to well when one reptilian tried to get me to date a black person I mean it was just every morning consecutive like little virtual reality uh, experiences you know, in the altered state. It was just one after the, you know, the other. But, um, you know, they, they create dreams for me, and lucid dreams and virtual reality experiences, depending on, you know, what I've seen on TV or just, you know, the, the thoughts for the day or, or, you know, or my worries or what, whatever. And, um, but yeah, like a few, if, uh, let's see, about a week ago or longer, um, and I did just see, uh, or I was watching a YouTube video or something about Dick Cheney or something like that. So then this alien, which I believe was probably a reptilian, uh, created a virtual reality scene, you know, in my altered state with him, like, well, it was sexual, but, it, you know, it's not like we took our clothes off or anything, but it was sexual. But yet, I liked it, you know what I mean? And then when I go back to 3D reality for like at least 24 hours, it's kind of like, you know, it, it seeps over into this reality where it's like, it's weird. Like, I can't explain it. It's like, it's like you really want to go find that person. You, you know what I mean? Which, of course, is unrealistic. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, so, yeah, so I... So, so, so anyway, that's how they can groom people and affect people, especially if they don't really know what's going on. But normally, I mean, they're not going to freaking know anyway. They're not going to pay attention to their dreams. And if they have virtual reality experiences or lucid dreams or remote views or whatever, they're just going to call it a dream. And they're just not going to pay attention. So I don't see how these reptilians can really affect anybody as far as trying to turn them straight or gay or whatever because they're not going to be paying attention anyway. And even if you are paying attention and attuned like I am, you know, you're not going to let it affect you because you're too damn attuned to what they're trying to do. But yeah, so anyway, so that was the white man thing with Dick Cheney. And like I say, I, I did just watch a little clip or something like that a couple days previous. So then the alien decided to, okay, stick him in my scenario and make it sexual. But it wasn't a dream. It was like virtual reality. In the altered state. Okay, so anyway, so on the 25th, which was what, uh, four days ago. Okay, well, I wrote it down. Okay, my first experience started off as a very clear dream. Not lucid dream, just a very clear dream. Like I say, all my dreams are very clear and intricate, intricate and detailed. And um, this first scenario, the soap opera style scenario... It had one virtual reality element in it, but it started, it was just a dream dream, but it, like I say, it was still, and the atmosphere, you know, when I just have just a dream dream, the atmosphere feels dreamy. It feels dreamy, but it's amazing how even those experiences, if, you know, when the alien gives you them, that could kind of transfer over to the physical, as far as the the feelings and all that. It's really weird. It's really cool, though. Okay, so my first experience started off as a very clear dream. Not lucid dream, just very clear dream. The alien took me back in time and made me be livi living at my mom's house in my normal small bedroom that I used to have. 
he put a tall, big, red-headed guy in my scenario who kept coming over to the house wanting to date me. My alien-created scenarios my alien created scenarios feel way more real than the 3D reality. Yeah, you know, like, it feels more authentic. You know, when, when they create these scenarios for me, it just feels more amazing and authentic than, like, these, this boring 3D, you know, reality. He put a big, tall, red-headed guy in my scenario who kept coming over to the house wanting to date me. And, like I say, my alien-created scenarios feel way more real than the 3D realities. Maybe the rep reptilian is trying to groom me. Not sure yet. They have done that before. But it was like I liked the guy very much, too, and he really, really liked me. But I didn't know if I wanted to give up my independence. He always came to the house at 2 a.m. in the morning when I was about to go to bed in my dark bedroom, but I could still see my normal stuff, like my old dresser. My mom kept walking around the kitchen, which my bedroom was close to the, was close to the, my mom kept walking around the kitchen, which my bedroom was close to, and she would still be up at 2 a.m. and say, he is here again. Like I say, he just kept coming over like every night. Like many, many times, lingering, or, you know, lingering around the house. And I would tell her to tell him to come back some other time. I also, at one point, looked out the window of the laundry room and the stray cats were in the yard and I literally counted 13 cats, one by one. So that was kind of funny that they popped that in my scenario. And like I said, this was all in the altered state of consciousness in bed with my eyes closed. But yeah, I remember looking around my bedroom and it was like, you know, dark, it was nighttime. And I remember seeing just the same stuff that I used to have a long, long time ago in my little bitty bedroom. Like the dresser, and it was really cool. But anyway, and I would tell her to tell him to come back some other time. I also at one point looked out the window of the laundry room and the stray cats were in the yard and I literally counted 13 cats, one by one. So that was kind of weird. I don't know why I did that in my scenario, but I did. My sister at one point said, this red-headed dude, he was very, very big. He was very tall, probably like six foot four at least, and very, you know, big and brawny. But my sister, but I mean, he was, it was like, I mean, he was so nice. I mean, he was really, really, really nice. And you don't meet people like that in this reality. My sister at one point said, all his women in the past would always disappear for several months because he would always beat them up. But in my mind, I knew he was a changed man and I knew I knew it and believed it, that he was a changed man. But I knew about his past because my sister told me about his past. Finally, I got in the car with my dating prospect, the, the big red-headed guy. He was big, at least six foot four. At this time, I still didn't know if I wanted to date him. Next thing I know, we were driving along in a car, just a normal car, on a strange road. Just driving, 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 driving. Then boom, here comes the virtual reality element, which was a total blast. He drove us off a cliff and we were falling, falling, falling in slow motion. We were falling pretty slowly. It was so real. We hit the ground, but it didn't hurt. Later, here's the other virtual, virtual reality element. Later, I could actually feel some chest pain in this scenario. Like, I literally felt... They can make you feel pain, realistic pain, under these abductions and virtual reality experiences. Yeah, they can make you feel pain. Real pain. No different than feeling the pain in 3D. So this was a second virtual reality element. Later, I could actually feel some chest pain. Like I say, it, in this scenario, it was like many, many, many minutes later after we, maybe even a day later in the scenario, but it was way, way later in the scenario after the accident. 
that I started feeling the chest pain. Later, I could actually feel some chest pain in the scenario. The aliens can make you feel very real pain in a dream or out-of-body experience or virtual, virtual reality experience or whatever. But, um, and like I say, I was trying to, um, before this experience, I was trying to ask for another experience where they, where he drives me off a cliff and I, you know, I'm able to descend at my own pace, which, um, that abduction I didn't put on here yet. And I plopped into the water and it was such a blast. So I had been kind of asking for that again. And, um. And that's not the first time they've made me, they hit me in the chest or whatever, or made me feel pain in the chest. But like I say, this, you know, this time, it's not like I got hit in the chest or anything. Um, yeah, before, before I even started talking to the, the reptilians to uh, give me out of body experiences, I thought I was talking to the greys for virtual reality experiences. And, but I think the reptilians kept coming forward and it was like some mean ones because they just kept doing mean stuff like hit me in the chest and stuff under my virtual reality experiences. And I actually felt the pain and everything. So I was asking for a similar experience that the reptilians gave me two years ago, driving off a cliff. So I guess that is why he put this part in the scenario again. So yeah, I was asking for a similar experience, um, you know, that I had two years ago, where he drove me off a cliff. And this isn't the first time the reptilians have hit me in the chest and I felt pain under the virtual reality experience. I think the reptilian went off the fact that... Actually, yeah, in this scenario, I think the reptilian um, knew I had that bad car accident when I was 29. And I didn't feel pain, though, until 24 hours later. So it's kind of like he duplicated that in this scenario. Because it's like, okay, we had the accident. We fell off the cliff. or drove off the cliff. And it's like I didn't have the pain until way, way later. I think the reptilian went off the fact that I did have a bad car accident many years ago and I was achy 24 hours later. Because in this scenario, I wasn't achy till way after the car accident. And I dated a redhead before in real life who was kind of mean to me a few times. Yeah, yeah, she was kind of a bitch. But, um, so yeah, maybe he went off that, and then he went off the fact that, you know, about that car accident. Um, but yeah, I, my chest wasn't achy after that car accident. I just was achy all over, like my muscles, but not my chest. But that's kind of funny. They went, you know, he went for the chest again, that I was, I was kind of having some, some pain in my chest. Uh, like, like muscle pain, not like heart pain. So yeah, they, they duplicate stuff a lot in my scenarios, little bits and pieces of previous scenarios over and over again. This scenario was just a dream, then it turned virtual reality once we started falling off the cliff. And of course, once I started feeling the chest pain, that was virtual reality as well. It was a total blast. I will do a video of the differences between lucid dreams, dreams, and virtual reality experiences and remote views later. And out-of-body experiences. I can do a video of that later. Yeah, the second scenario, I was having this long, drawn-out dream too. But the thing is, I can't remember if it just boom that dream stopped and then I went on to this government experience or um, but I think not because I think I went up and went to the bathroom and then I laid back down and that's when I had this um, virtual reality experience this out of body experience but uh, but yeah it's just amazing um, when they pop these people in your scenarios I mean like I say, even if it's just a dream dream, I mean, it can seep over into this reality, and it's like, 
it's like, it's like, where is that person, man? You want to go talk to them or date them or, or something, you know what I mean? But then you know, you know, that's not really realistic. Okay, so the, uh, yeah, um, the same morning, they were giving me this long, intricate dream. They were putting all these people in it that I went on the crop circle tour with. And we were in this huge apartment. I don't even know what the hell apartment we were um, in, but we were about to play a game, like Monopoly. And I remember one woman said, oh, so-and-so is dying of cancer. And, you know, it was just, it was just weird. But anyway, so after that dream, that's when... Um, I think I broke the sleep cycle after I got up and went to the bathroom, and then I laid back down, and that's when I had this government uh, virtual reality experience, um, out-of-body experience, and this one was a total blast as well. And this was the, the second morning on the 26th. Okay, the second scenario started off as out-of-body experience and or virtual reality scenario. The gray alien stuck me in a government building with windy halls, with windy hallways with a lot of doors, closed doors. I was traveling fast, out-of-body, sitting straight up, just 3.5 feet off the ground. I kept, well, actually... Um, this is how the scenario started. I basically just, bam, started uh, traveling kind of fast, out of body, on my butt, 3.5, you know, in the air, 3.5 feet, about 3.5 feet off the ground. I just shot off. And, we, and I started winding around the hallways of this government building. So anyway, the gray alien stuck me in the government building with windy hall, hallways with a lot of doors. I was traveling fast, out of body, sitting straight up, just above the ground, about three and a half feet. I kept winding around all the hallways. Then when I came to a closed door, I stopped. Then boom, I would start moving again, or traveling again. This happened four to five times. It was a total blast. The aliens always pleased me. I don't know if I was really out of body or if this was just a virtual reality experience. The next thing I know, I was in a virtual reality setting in a big office with two government people. I was just standing there, then the agent said, and there's, there's a lot of stuff that I'm forgetting, a lot of little details that I'm forgetting too. Um, um, I mean, I, I'm forgetting um, some of the sentences. I remember one of the sentences, but there was a lot more talking, and I don't remember it. So anyway, this happened four to five times. It was a blast. The aliens always pleased me. I don't know if I was really out of body or if it was just virtual reality. Probably just virtual reality. Um, but, you know, they can still create virtual reality experiences and make you feel like you're totally traveling out of body and all that. But, I mean, it's still an out of body experience. If you feel out of body, you're out of body. Okay, so, the next thing I know... So, anyway, I would just zoom, 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 zoom. And every time I'd come to... The, the, the hallways were very, very narrow. And every time I'd come to a closed door, I would stop, and then boom, travel again. And then I would stop, and then boom, travel again. But I don't actually remember seeing the door, actually. It's kind of like I just floated right through the door. I don't actually remember seeing a door, like, opening, and a door opening, if you know what I mean. Okay, the next thing I know, I was in a virtual reality setting in a big office with two government people. Okay, the virtual reality um, scenarios, I mean they feel no different than 3D. I mean, like, they don't have, they don't feel dreamy. They don't feel, you know, like they have a dreamy ap atmosphere like lucid dreams do. I mean, it totally feels no different. Like, you're just standing there in an office in 3D. It feels no different. These virtual re reality experiences. Okay, the next thing I know, I was in a virtual reality setting in a big office with two government people. I was just standing there, then the agent said, well, he turned around. Well, one of them kind of was, had his back turned, and then he kind of turned around, and then the one closer to me, he looked at me, and he said, you sure do know a lot about aliens. 
he said some other stuff, but I don't remember. There was a couple other sentences, and there was a little more that I said, too, that I don't remember. I was waiting for him to start asking me questions about aliens, but he never did. It was so real, just as real as 3D. Then I started walking fast outside the office. I went out the, the door, so to speak, and it was daylight. I started walking fast outside in daylight out of the office. And I looked back at... No, these were two different agents. These, these weren't the same agents that were in the office building. These were two different people. So then I started walking fast outside in daylight out of the office. And I looked back and two agents were walking fast after me. They were all white guys. Yeah, the two guys in the office were white and the two white guys out the two guys outside were white. I tried to walk as fast as possible. The end. I used the aliens as an escape. You know, for my out of body experiences and all that. That's why I hound them for experiences because they're blast. I mean they're just total blast. So anyway, I do kind of use the aliens as an escape from this boring 3D reality. Kind of like why humans do drugs. But I'm not that stupid. So yeah, so these two experiences were a little different. Um, but still, they were pretty fun. I, I don't know why they're not abducting me like they normally abduct me. Like coming to my bedroom... And taking me out of body right before that split second before I fall back to sleep. Those are the best. Now they're doing it. They're giving me these experiences more at a distance. But yeah, it's still fun. But I'm trying to think if there was anything I was going to say. But, but yeah, it's just amazing. Like, they'll pop these people in your scenarios. They'll make them, you know, like... I mean, it's just weird how the feelings, I mean, like, I really like this red-headed dude. It's like, I really, really liked him. And he seems so authentic and genuine. And he really, really, really liked me. And, like, in real life, in real life, that fucking never existed, ever. You know, and I'm fucking 44 years old. I mean, I, and I've never really, well, I mean, I'm not counting the time when I was, like, 20 and I thought I really, really liked, you know, a woman or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I don't know how they do it because I mean, it's that this dimension is so fucking phony, phony out the fucking ass. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've never had somebody like really, really, really like me. I mean, yeah, this, that 19 year old did when I was 26, but I mean that I'm not counting that he was only 19, but I mean, and I've never really liked anybody either. Um, I mean, I mean, I think I thought I did, but it was just all phony. And I never really had anybody really, really like me. And even if they did, it was fucking phony too. They were fucking psychos, you know? I mean, this reality is some kind of fucked up, and I hope you guys wake up to that fact. Because if you do, you know, you're going to disown everybody. And you're going to break up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. But yeah, I mean, I'm so glad the freaking aliens came into my life. But yeah, it's just what they give me in the altered states of consciousness, that fucking doesn't exist in this reality. It does not, and it never will. Because this reality is fake, and it's phony, and it's fucked up. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I hope you wake up. That this dimension is bullshit.